uh, hello everyone uh, this code is most simple tracking example using OpenCV video tracking uh, API from the contribution library uh, I have some other preparation here but you definitely you, uh, need this uh, OpenCV video tracking you need this uh, core core utility maybe uh, EMG codex uh, video IO and Highway and the EMG ports uh, definitely here I'm using point tracker as a global variable and uh, and one structure this structure is basically used to remember some uh, initial coordinates uh, when I perform some event uh, by mouse, some actual coordinates uh, of my mouse, final coordinates and final size of my rectangle. These variables are for are used to remember the state of the program because I need to slightly change the flow during the execution. Uh, this is callback function it's uh, nothing strange basically based on event right button down I'm doing exactly nothing just printing right button I'm not using the right button here by left button down I init basically I save initial coordinates of uh, into my global uh, global structure in it X and it Y and uh, I start to displaying my rectangle because based on my mouse move I'm updating as well the actual X and Y and I can display basically this rectangle initial and actual based on initial and actual actual differences by left button up I obtain the final size of my rectangle or final region what I want to track and I perform action in it tracker. Uh, this uh, couple of functions are preparation for something else and it will come in the future. Here is standard uh, video capture from uh, some uh, my let's say video file here is initialization of uh, the states uh, everything uh, into the zero here is uh, in initialization of my tracker right now I'm using this one I never used this uh, tracker before but uh, on uh, my video sample it uh, performs very well usually I prefer TLD tracker but uh, this one is pretty solid here is uh, just a video writer for my output uh, video and let's go into the main loop in main loop uh, here basically it's uh, prepared at the mat uh, container when I'm putting the captured frame from uh, from the video file I will resize into some reasonable size and uh, here is uh, let's say preparation to when I, where I using the callback function this function is used as a basically parameter of this function and uh, and uh, based on mouse uh, state I will change the flow of this main loop if uh, I basically press left button down I start displaying this rectangle over image and uh, it's based on uh, as I said initial and actual difference when I perform left button up I init tracker you need to have a tracker in it uh, uh, you need to set here the image 
over you want to track it, a track and here is the rectangle of uh, of the object you want to track here is just change of state that my tracker is ready and if my tracker is ready basically I'm going just through this loop and uh, here I'm updating uh, updating uh, my tracker and uh, display the results and uh, it's basically it this part of code is just put the tracked region into the original image and here is display nothing uh, nothing uh, really hard Okay, let's start the code. Right now I need to select some target. I'll choose this one and uh, just uh, see the tracker in action. Actually the tracking API performing very well. My computer is something like seven years old uh, and uh, I'm not normally, let's say, uh, programming on this computer, but I've compiled here the OpenCV library with contribution libraries and, uh, and it's just a matter of uh, 20 minutes to show this code in action. That's it.